In September 2021, Shopify launched Shopify Markets, which allows you to sell internationally from your Shopify store. It allows you to convert your store into multiple different currencies. It allows you to translate your storefront into different languages. It allows you to add local payment methods to your checkout, depending on which country your customer is coming from. And it also allows you to add custom domains to your store, depending on which country your customer is coming from. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to set up Shopify markets for your dropshipping and e-commerce Shopify stores. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing you're going to have to do is sign up for Shopify markets. So I will leave a link in the description to the Shopify markets sign up page. So you can just go to shopify.co.uk slash markets or shopify.com slash markets, depending on which country you're in, or you can just Google sign up for Shopify markets. All you then need to do is click on login to get started and it will ask you to log in to your Shopify store. And then you can just click apply for access for Shopify markets. Once you click on apply for access, Hopefully after a few weeks, you should receive an email like this, which will say we're excited to let you know that your store has been selected for early access to Shopify markets. From here, it will say you can now navigate to the Shopify markets in your admin. So just click on here in the email. It will then bring you to your Shopify settings and then you will be in the Shopify markets area. So from here, you can add a market, which basically means you can add a country that you want to start selling to. So all you need to do is click on add market. Now from here, you can choose a market name. So this is going to be the country or region that you want to target. So I can come in here and let's just say Spain, for example, then you can add countries and regions. So you can choose a bunch of countries or just one country. So let's say, for example, I chose South America, I could go and add all of the South American countries to my market. But for this example, I'm just going to use one country. So we are just going to go and type in Spain and then I'm just going to go and choose this and click on done. Now from here, all you need to do is hit save. And now from here, it will bring you to that market and it will say active. So there are a few things that we need to set up in order to actually start selling to this international market. So the first thing we are going to set up is the domains and languages. So we are going to go to manage and from here, it's going to say market domains and subfolders. So under the subfolders, it will automatically set up a suffix for this market. So you can see it's put ES, which is going to be for Spain. So I'm just going to leave that as the default, but you can name it differently if you want to. But I do recommend just leaving it as the default that Shopify recommends. Next up, we are going to want to add a language to this market. So because this is for Spain, I'm going to want to add Spanish as the language. So in order to do this, it's going to say select the languages to offer customers in this market. You can manage these languages in shop languages. So we're going to to click on shop languages. Now from here, we are going to add a language. So we're going to click on add a language. And then from here, we are going to go and choose our language. So I'm just going to scroll down until I see Spanish. And then I'm just going to click on this and then I'm going to hit add. Now from here, we're going to need to translate our store into that language. So in order to do this, it's going to say visit the Shopify app store in order to translate our store. So we're going to click on visit Shopify app store. Now from here, it's going to show us all of the apps that will allow us to translate our store. So we are going to look for an app called convey this. So we're going to go to search and we are going to type in convey this and now just hit enter. From here, you will see the app that says language translate convey this. So we are going to click on this. And from here, we can add this app. Now this app only allows you to translate your store into one other language. So be slightly selective about which language you want to translate your store into. So I'm going to choose Spanish, of course. But if you want to go and translate your store into French or into another language, then just prioritize the language that you want to translate your store into. Because if you want to translate into multiple different languages, you do have to go for the premium version of this app. So we're just going to go and click on add app and start with the free version. From here, we are going to click on install app. Now, once you hit install app, you should be brought to the convey this dashboard that will look a little something like this. And from here, we are going to hit settings. Now, alternatively, you might automatically be brought over to this page. Now, from here, we're going to choose our domain name. We are going to choose our website technology, which will be Shopify. And we are going to hit next step. Once you click on that, you should be brought over to your settings again. And from here, you can now choose your target language. Now, like I say, on the free plan of convey this, you can only choose one language. So you can just come in here. If we just get rid of this, you can just come in here and type in the language you want. So we're just going to choose Spanish and then you can just hit save. Now from here, we want to translate the pages on our store. So we are going to go to my translations. Now under my translations, it should automatically pick up your store. So you can see it has picked up my store. 
the English and Spanish version, and then the Spanish and Spanish version. So it has translated all of the words on my store. So now that we have done this, we can head back to our Shopify markets area and start setting up some of the currencies. So from your Shopify dashboard, you are gonna now click on settings. And from here, we are gonna click on markets. So now from here, we can go to domains and languages again. We can click on manage. And now from here, what we can do is we can go and add our language. So once again, where it says select languages, we are gonna to go to Shopify languages. And now from here, if we scroll down, we will see Spanish. So we are gonna hit publish on Spanish now. And now that we have published that, it will say customers in supported regions will be prompted to shop in their local language. So we can click on manage in geolocation app. It will then bring you over to this geolocation app and it will show you what your store is going to look like depending on which country your customer is arriving from. So what we can do is we can go and test this out now. So if we go and change this from the United Kingdom, we can go and choose Spain. And now that we have chosen Spain, we can go and choose our language, which will be Spanish. And now we can see that this is what our store will look like. So it's all coming up in Spanish. So that is perfect. So now we can just close this. So that is going to be the default. So once again, now we can head back to our Shopify markets. So we're just gonna go and hit settings. And from here, once again, we're gonna go to domains and languages. We are gonna hit manage. And now from here, if we scroll down, we are going to choose Spanish and we are going to hit save. So now that we have saved that, we can scroll up and we can hit this back button and we can set up the currency. So we can go to currency and pricing and we can hit manage. And now from here, you can go and choose the currency that you want to use for this market. So you can see for me, it's automatically set me up with euros, which is the currency for Spain. It's using an automatic cut conversion rate to convert it from pounds to euros. And it's also rounding it automatically to 95 cents for all of my products. So I recommend just going with the D default for your currency for this Shopify market that you're setting up. So once we've done that, we can hit the back button once again. Now there are a few last things that you can set up for a particular market that you are setting up. So you've got duties and import taxes. So if we click on manage for this, you can go and set this up for a region. You can obviously see that I'm not collecting duties and import taxes. So we'll say set up duties and import taxes for your store first, and then you can go and select the region, but you might not necessarily have to collect this depending on, on what country it is so I'm just gonna hit back and not set that up for now but that is pretty straightforward when you go to set up you can just click on enable duties and import taxes and then it will enable that for you and you can select the Shopify market you can also create a shipping zone for this region for this market or the country that you are setting up the market for so if we go click on go to shipping you can then click on manage rates and it will allow you to set up a shipping rate so you can see for my two rates that I already have they're both free shipping. So I've got free shipping for the UK and free shipping for the rest of the world. So for this Spain market, they're gonna come under rest of the world. So they're gonna get free shipping regardless, but you can always add a rate. So for rest of the world, I can click on add rate and then I can go and choose a different rate. So it could be standard international and I could go and put a price in and you can go and add your conditions as well to your shipping. So it could say, let's say based on order price, the minimum order price would be let's say 50 pounds for them to get free shipping, something like that. So you can go and set up your shipping, but like I said, I recommend just to keep it with your domestic, so that's the country where your store is based, and then just do rest of the world, and that makes it so much easier when it comes to sorting out shipping rates. Unless you are having very expensive shipping rates to particular countries, then you can go and add a shipping rate. So from here, we're just gonna go back to our Shopify market. So from here, we can go and set up a payment method. So we can click on go to payments, and then it will show you all of the active payment methods that you can use in that country. So you can see for Spain, they pretty much accept all of the default payment methods so I don't really need to set anything else up but for particular countries it might show you a different payment method that is more popular in that country that you can set up so now that we've done that we can once again just go back to markets and the last thing that you can do is collect taxes so if we click on go to taxes and you can see for me I am collecting taxes for customers in the United Kingdom but for the rest of the world I'm not so just go and do some research about whether you have to collect taxes depending on which country that your store is based in. So now that we have set all of that up, we can go and have a look at this new Shopify market. So if we just go to markets, and now from here, what you can do is you can go to preview and you can choose your new language. And we can see that my whole store has been translated into Spanish. So we can see it's got the euros, it's got everything that's been translated into Spanish. So it's all looking really good. 
and it is set up ready to start selling to the Spanish market. And this actually helps with search engine optimization as well. When it comes to marketing your store on Google, your products will come up easier on different international markets if they have been translated and if they have been set up on the Shopify markets settings. So that is it for this tutorial. You can now hopefully start gaining more customers from global markets for your Shopify dropshipping and e-commerce stores. If you have enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more dropshipping and e-commerce content and check out the two videos on screen now if you have enjoyed the content in this video and hopefully I'll see you in one of those videos.